Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 19th of September 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Wildwood Tarot for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say about Monday and what energy the cards want you to be aware of here. So let's see coming up. First card is hidden in here somewhere. This one. We've got the King of Stones, the Wolf. So that's the King of Pentacles. Then we've got the Queen of Arrows, the Swan. And the Nine of Arrows, Dedication. So arrows in this deck is swords and bows is wands. Yep. Okay. So this is interesting because we've got two court cards. So those are characteristics, qualities that exist in you, or it's people that you meet. And we've got another person in this card. So first of all, I think it's going to be a busy day in the sense that there are lots of people in your life. You're getting phone calls. Uh, people are asking you things. You have an engagement in the evening to meet a friend or to you have a meeting with the boss. It's certainly a day full of people. So I would um, kind of mentally prepare to have lots of uh, conversation and to engage with other people and to ask to go into those situations and to say, what do I want to get out of those connections? Do I want support or do I want recognition or do I want to help someone else out? Um, I think going into those just with a clear sense of what is it that I'm trying to achieve today will help. And then second, we've got a minor arcana card and that's a temporary influence. And the temporary influence is the dedication, is your willingness to work and to apply yourself and to work hard and to be diligent. And that is really, really good because these two are experts. First of all, the king and the queen, they both rule their element. The king does it in a way where he's creating something new. So king of pentacles, he's going to create a new pack of wolves, um, a new business. He's going to make plans to move house. He's um, asking himself what kind of vocation is right for me work-wise. So this is someone who has asked all those questions and has got himself into a position of power, excuse me, of uh, power and mastery with this element and having him on your side today means if there are any changes you want to make to your working life or there's something in your work that you need to sort out or take charge of the king of stones makes it very easy to do that and then the queen of swords she's in charge but the king and queens differ in the sense that the queens look at what already exists and how they can perfect it so here we've had someone who was a little duckling and has turned themselves into this swan so the Queen of Arrows, the Queen of Swords, she's the boss. She's mastered the element of air, which is thinking and ideas. And that governs. It's interesting. In this case, and I suppose always, although I double check with that once I finish the thought, this is saying that thoughts are much more important than things because the thought comes first. If you're the duckling and you see yourself as the swan, then okay, I realize that, you know, it's a process of growing up and it will naturally become a swan. But the thing is that we can have a certain image of ourselves that has nothing to do with our genetics or our place in the world or whatever, but it's something we want to do for ourselves. The important thing is having that image in our mind's eye. And this spread is saying is if you have that image of yourself, that's what the queen allows you to, to access today the image of you as you want to see yourself in a year or three years from now or five or ten years from now ask yourself the question how do i see myself looking what's uh, what's the the ideal version of myself let that appear and do a little twirl in my head in my mind's eye so i can see what that is having that will then activate the king of stones the king of pentacles your practical ability to take action and it means that you know what steps you have to take to get to that image. And the Nine of Arrows, the dedication, usually the Nine of Arrows, the Nine of Swords is someone who is sitting in bed with their head in their hands and who's worried and who's just at the end. And um, in this case, she looks somewhat glum, but it doesn't matter. Her feelings are irrelevant to her. She's dedicated to doing this, picking up these arrows, and that's what she's going to do come hello high water. So the 
the the stubborn kind of commitment to something like that a job a purpose a mission means that today if you get an image of yourself you can absolutely dedicate yourself to fulfilling that mission i am going to become this one and you start to take action steps on this day that will get you there sooner or later so this is the perfect and the reason i got the cards out um i just want to check that i'm right about arrows being swords eight of bows is eight of wands yeah so it is bows Let's see, let's get another sword one. Bows, page of wands, yep. Ten of swords, instruction. Okay, so they've changed some of the meanings as well as the, the name of the suit from arrows to swords. Okay, because usually the knight of swords is someone who, like I said, is just worried. Then they're not doing anything. She's able to overcome her concerns and say, I'm going to stay active anyway. So that's the key, saying I'm going to commit to getting this done and being active. And um, the first thing is the recognition of it, the action steps, how you're going to get from point A to B. You don't have to worry about that. That comes naturally. So with these two, I don't think that the people coming into your life, a woman who's very educated and says, this is what you should do and this is what your ideal self is, or a man who's very experienced in business and he says, okay, here's an opportunity, although that could happen, I think it's much more likely that you embody an amazing sense of practicality. You're the leader of the pack. You embody an innate knowing of how you want to manifest yourself in future. And then you have the the workhorse who will actually get you from point A to B. So it's the perfect day for anyone who's got an addiction and wants to stop that addiction and wants to see how they would live without that. It's um, anyone who has thought of moving and uh, what life would be like in a different location. No one you know has done it, but you've dreamt of it for ages. Really consider that in earnest today and see if you can make it happen. Someone who wants to change um, their work situation, living situation, um, physical body. If you want to start getting in shape and it's something you've never really been successful with, even though you keep trying, this is the kind of day where you can try again and see it through till the very end. Because the cards give you that ability. And really the ingredients, the vision, the dedication, the consistency to make something like that happen. It's a complicated process, you know, because you have to have all these things in place. So what is it that has eluded you up until now that you've tried to achieve and you failed several times? Look at it again today and try again. This is really, but this energy is particularly for um, people who have fallen but who keep getting up again and again and again because they care so much this is where things click together so that you can finally have that breakthrough number wise we've got one and one is two and nine is 11 11 is the master number of service and that makes a lot of sense because this vision gives you a very clear direction and then you help yourself by being so consistent and strong so that you actually attain what you're looking for wow okay so I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And in my personal readings, I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology. The way I combine the numbers and the cards, I combine all three in my personal readings. So if you have any questions about your life purpose or what's coming up for you in future, what could I be working on for the best possible outcome, any questions, relationships, moving, anything at all, please do, please do just get in touch with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.